I think we have to uh, look at Russians now and not think of them as of, of Russians six months ago on the battlefield because there, there is quite a steep learning curve. Whatever they do will have a counteraction, so it, it, the battlefield is very dynamic, and you know the enemy takes into account whatever you're using, and he's having his own uh, intelligence surve surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities in order to make sure that they, they are not caught off guard. we're talking about two squadrons so 28 tanks that's a very small number and you know for the, for, the, for the purpose to fend off the enemy offensive to stop the enemy in the tracks and then to, to go with a counter-offensive union much more than that there is always a chance that they will be losing equipment and there is always a high probability that the enemy will be able to get your equipment and I think that's the reason why Russians don't want to use anything super modern that they have developed recently just because they don't want it to get into NATO's hands. The Leopard has probably the best armor of all of them, um, in theory. That's, they're using compound armor with kind of ceramic elements and, and all, all, all that good stuff. However, now the only tanks that have seen battle are the Turkish um, Leopards, and they've been used in Syria. Now in Syria, they were, they were very vulnerable to mortars and to mines, as well as to manned portable anti-tank weapons. So, in essence, it doesn't kind of give us a very good picture of the Leopard. Um... Um, the ammunition that the tanks use is not the kind of ammunition that the Ukrainians have in stock right now, and we're talking about 120 millimeters heat rounds, so high explosive anti-tank rounds, um, spare parts, um, fuel, um, support vehicles, bridge layers. So there is kind of extra baggage that needs to be delivered to Ukraine before these tanks can get there, and another question is how long will it take to train the crews to operate the tanks? So two, three months, plus we also need to refurbish the Leopards, and so maybe around April is the time when we might be seeing Leopards in Ukraine. <laughs> 